Britt's watching her vlog. I'm so proud. You just released it. What is an S7 Edge? It's awesome. S7 Edge. It's way fancier than mine. Mine's just an S7. I think that's a good looking Pretty woman. Phone, though. I, love I know, right? So wow. She, she cleans up good. Look at this. Look at this. It's got like curved screens. It doesn't have any. He's got a glorious fancy. beard. What a goofy looking she guy, though. Cam he, yeah, she anyways, is way so out of his league. Good morning. We're on our way back home. From the truck. Surprise! Surprise! Ended up that they just needed us to do some local work for them this morning. And we actually went to go pick up the trailer that we're going to be taking down to North Carolina. But they only need it there Monday morning. And if we leave now, we'll be there like Saturday. Saturday afternoon. Yeah. So we figure instead of spending a day and a half down there, we'll spend a day up here. In our home. In our home. And then get there a half day early instead of a day and a half early. Mm -hmm. On the right here, we're just going down. Uh, well, we're just going down Highway 59 here right now. Uh, on the right here is this church with the green roof. When I was a kid, that was the church I went to. It was called Village Gospel Fellowship back then. We built that church. My mom and dad were a part of the, the leadership of the church at the time. And they built it. Unfortunately, however, though, the, the people moved on to different churches now. But uh, what's interesting, though, is the pastor that I grew up with in that church, he's the one who's going to be marrying us this September. Yeah, we got the confirmation, what, like two days ago? It was yep. yesterday. Oh, well, it might have been yesterday for us. Either way, it was really exciting. So he's uh, going to be coming up from Kansas. He actually moved down to Kansas. He is an American citizen. He was Canadian, but they moved there. Lucky guys. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of memories in that building. It's too bad they had to sell the building and whatnot. Because I was, I was just a kid, and I was there when the walls went up. Well, I figured since we're passing by on the way home, I may as well pick up a few things. I am making breakfast today. What, you don't think I can? Making these maple sausages. And, well we got a new dozen eggs here and these two here. So I'm gonna have like probably four or five eggs. Britt wants two, I think. And I don't know how much she wants of that, but I'll eat whatever she doesn't eat. And then coffee, of course. Uh, instead of using my Keurig machine, I've been using this because I get more out of it. Um, I'm just, when I'm at home, I like to drink a lot of coffee. Well, when I'm on the road too, and in general, I like to drink a lot of coffee. I'm gonna make about, what's that? Eight cups worth, nine cups worth, something in there. Or well water, it's not the best water anyone's ever seen, but does the trick. Throw that into the back there. Okay, put that back under there. All right, we plug it in because Britt has a habit of unplugging everything in the house before we leave. Everything's unplugged. Okay, there we go. Which is good, it's not a bad habit to be in. Turn it on. Now we wait. We picked up some new food for the wieners today. It even has a wiener on it. Food just for wieners. Where are they? Where are they? Well, there's a big, there's a weasel looking for a wiener. Wiener! Oh, there's a, there they are. Food just for wieners, for you guys. They had their first bowl this morning. They seem to really like it. Fresh food is always the best food, right? Britt is enjoying her Netflix time. I told her to take a break and rest. She's not feeling the best today. So she's watching some TV while I make us a late breakfast. I'm making more eggs than that, don't worry. Don't worry, I already made the sausage. Where's the, it's maple sausage, best sausage you'll ever taste. And then I got some toast ready to go here. You guys seen this Jungle Book movie already? This is the first time I'm watching it. One thing I really like about the layout of this house 
is I can make food in the kitchen and watch TV at the same time. Breakfast is served. Get you a fork right away unless you want to go all crazy and eat with your hands. Oh my. Doesn't it look nice? I think it actually looks nice too. Usually I can make food, but it doesn't look nice. But this actually looks nice. Oh my. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy. Not you, Diesel. Not for weasels and not for wainers. It's for fiancés only. I made that. Me. Whoa, whoa. Uh -oh. Whoa. Minus five hit points. No, no. You ripped on my clean floors. No. Yeah, you did. No. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. <laughs> this is overflowing with goodness just for you. Thank you. How many hit points? 125. Yes, that puts me in the lead. Look at this, mid to late January, and the snow is melting off my house. It's about to slide off the back here too, eh? The, the snow already slid off the front of my house. Good thing we didn't have any vehicles parked there or, you know, children walking there at the time. Insane. Diesel's out there somewhere. We're calling it Springuary, right? I told you this already, right? Springuary. Everything's melting in January. I like it. Come here, bud. There you go. It's warm out there, eh? You don't want to come in. No, come back here. Come on your rug. Sit. Lock the fortress first. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Can you shake? Can you shake over here? You know? Shake. Shake. I don't know what you mean. Diesel, shake. Come on. Shake. <laughs> I never taught you that. Good boy. Can you go back on your rug? Yeah, yeah. I'm not a situation. Yeah, on the rug. Oh, yeah, it's right here. I see. All right, there. I'll just dry off right here for a second. Here it is the next day. Still melting. January, and like half the snow is melted out there. Isn't that amazing? Look at a steady stream of water. Incredible. This is supposed to be the coldest time of year. I'll take it. I will take it. And we're headed down to North Carolina tomorrow, so it'll get even better from this. So I'll be getting this all packed up soon and headed back to the semi truck. I'm just gonna lounge out here in my office for a little bit longer, talk to you guys. Britt's on the other side of the house filming her video right now, an update on the planning of the wedding and stuff. That's all on her channel and whatnot. We're very excited. Got our venue and stuff. It means a lot to both of us, so. Should be fun. Uh, we, I told you, right, the wedding's moved back one week to September 16th. Uh, just for the venue, they weren't available on the 9th. At least we got an opening like right nearby, right? We thought we might have to wait a whole nother year. Apparently we need to do some painting. Stuff like that is all over this house. I did not do that, I don't think I did. Over there too, and over there too. This house really needs painting. I like the colors though. Mm -hmm. I sort of like them. And the colors in this room are gonna go well with my uh, Harley Davidson blanket right there, which I sort of wanna hang up there. I was thinking about hanging the flags up there, but I think that might look a little better. I don't know. We'll see. So today, tomorrow morning for you guys, uh, I went to go and get my pickup out of the garage, get it ready to go, right? Found out there was about three feet of snow that fell off my garage roof right in front of the garage door. So I'm like, oh, four wheel drive, eh? Four wheel drive, we'll just drive right over it. <laughs> Broke off my bumper a little bit. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> it, it, I fixed it. You can't even tell. I got under there, I spent like an hour under there, I fixed it all up, rebolted it on. It's just some plastic. Bumpers are so cheap nowadays. On every model of truck. Don't give me that. Should have bought a Ford stuff. I'm happy with my Chevy. Everybody's got these plastic bumpers nowadays, right? I guess it's to save weight on vehicles. They don't make them like they used to, like out of solid steel. And I guess everyone had a problem with their vehicles weighing 6,000 pounds. But anyways, 
sidetracked. I went over the snow hill, right? I'm like, I decided, no, you know what? I'm gonna get hung up. I'll shovel it first and then I'll go. So I backed down and then I pulled the bottom part of my plastic bumper out a little bit and it popped out of the latches where it snaps in. So I just really had to snap it in and uh, jimmy it so that it's, oh, you can't even tell, can't even tell. But I just realized the dealership where I bought my truck, my salesman and the finance manager and whatnot watch these videos. So they're gonna know what I did. I'm sure they've seen a lot worse. <laughs> and I bought insurance for stuff like that, so cosmetic, whatever. I've had the truck for about a year now. Uh, it's another four years. I got a pretty long lease, a five year lease. So after another four years, I bring it in, trade it in. I'm getting a 2500. That's my plan. And then that, I want that to be the last pickup truck that I get for quite a while. Probably gonna try to buy it. We'll see, because I might be buying a new semi truck in the future too. It's, it, I'm thinking about it, just so you guys are aware of that. I'm, I am thinking about getting a new truck in about two years or so. We'll, we'll see where finances are at at that time. This year we're trying to pay for a wedding, which is expensive. We'll just leave it at that. I don't know exactly where all the money's gonna come from for this wedding, but we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work and we'll make it happen. You only get married once, right? Or, well, you know what I mean. It's supposed to be the most special day of your life, so. We'll try to keep the cost down. So anyway, I'm gonna end this here and start tomorrow's video as we leave towards North Carolina. Should take us two and a half days to get down there, so I'm thinking we'll drive about a half a day today or so. Drive Saturday, Sunday, two full days. We'll be there Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Unload Monday morning and probably head into Georgia from there. We'll see. We'll hang out in the south there as long as we possibly can. Even though the weather's nice here, the weather's way nicer there. And I love it down there. So I'll see you then. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It does a lot more for me than you think. And if you are new to the vlog, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell beside that subscribe button. And then click turn on notifications. That way you don't miss a video that I post. If you don't want to do that, I post a new video every day right here on TJV at 4 a.m. Central Time here in North America. Everyone's welcome.